Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to the episode number 61 of the series of tutorial on how to build a premium theme for WordPress. Welcome again. In this tutorial, we're going to actually test the submission of the WP mail function, even if we are on a local host on a local environment. If you remember in the previous lesson, I told you that we cannot test it because a local host doesn't come with a proper email server installed. And that's still true. We're not going to install an email server, but we're going to use a pretty cool uh, a third party application that it's actually free. And it's totally for this purpose, like offering you a fake email server that you can use in your local environment with few simple settings. So let's take a look. First of all, let's go on our browser and let's go to the address mailtrap.io. And you can also find this URL in the description below this video. And this is an awesome, super easy and super simple service that we can use to generate or use a fake SMTP server for development teams. So uh, there are var various pricing options, but of course, we're going to just pick the free one that allows us to use just one inbox. It's the all we need a maximum of 50 messages inside per inbox, no team members. So we are the only one that you can use this and two emails inboxes. So we could have potentially two different emails to test two different options. But for now, only one and only the free options is what we need. But you can see here we have other options that it's actually pretty good and the price is not too expensive for a service that is really important and is really interesting during a complicated development process. Of course, I already created my account, so I'm going to log in. And after signing up, you will find already created for you a default fake inbox that is called demo inbox. You can change name, of course, but if you access it, and it's going to be empty at the beginning, we already have a um, nice quick example of all the credentials that we can use in order to set up our fake SMTP server in our local environment. And here there's a nice interesting drop down. So let me zoom in a little bit. All these credentials, of course, are temporary. If you delete the inbox and you create another one, you're going to have different credentials. But here we have a nice quick snippet of code for integrations. And if we open the drop down, you will notice we already have a predefined a snippet for WordPress and this uses the action hook of the PHP mailer init function of WordPress that is the function that takes care of initializing the PHP mailer option in case we are on a real server or on a real host and we need to send emails in this case what we're going to do we're going to copy this entire code and we're going to access our code editor let's go inside our ink folder inside the theme support.php and scroll down to the bottom and let's paste the code that we copy from MailTrap. And here we have all the information that we have to pass to WordPress in order to tell them instead of trying to use the actual email server inside the server, then in our case, a local host, use these settings and override the default setting with our stuff. So we're going to use this one. Let's save it. Let's go back in our Ajax here. It's all good. We don't have to change anything. Let's go back in our front end in our contact page. Let's refresh our page to be sure that everything works. And let's write and submit another message. So this is from Alex and my email is as that as com, whatever. And the message is this is a test message for the SMTP fake account and submit. After a few seconds, perfect. We have the confirmation max message successfully submitted. Thank you. Of course, if we access the email address, the actual email that it's stored in the administration panel in the general settings, we're not going to have any actual email submitted because we are overriding the settings of the regular email submission in order to use the fake SMTP on localhost. So if we access our demo inbox here, you're going to notice that on the left panel, we just received an email, the sunset contact form dash from Alex. 
and the actual email servers where this email is supposed to go was me at alicad.com that it's my email address so if we access and click here we're gonna have a really nice list of really important informations for our email settings especially during a development process so here we have everything that we specified customly specify with our WP mail function. We have the from, that is the sunset theme and the email of the administrator. We have the reply to Alex and the email that I specified in the contact form and the subject, the sunset contact form Alex that you can see here. And of course we have the raw message that this is a test message for the SMTP fake account, the message that I actually wrote inside the contact form. A really interesting part of MailTrap is also the analysis of the email that we just sent. And here you have also a spam report, a spam score. So you can test if your email, it's actually uh, can be triggered, can be recognized as spam from different email services or from different email clients. Here we have a score of 3.7 and it says, all good, don't worry. But of course it's, uh, giving us some uh, blacklist report in order to use some um, better improvements for our email. We can improve our content type, we can improve our headers and all this kind of stuff. So it's really interesting. And this is great. As you can see here with just a super quick auto-generated snippet of code, we can test also the submission of a real email inside a local host that usually we cannot do it. Just remember when you publish your domain, when you publish your website into an actual real server, into a live server, try to wrap this function inside a detection, like if you have a global variable set up as a production or development, just activate this function only if you're on a development environment and if you're not on a production. If you publish your website with this function inside the theme, you could encounter some issue and you could still keep triggering this fake SMTP account even if you're on an actual real life server. So be careful with that. So this was a super quick lesson to show you how to use this incredible service called MailTrap in order to create and use a fake SMTP account on a local environment and help you to complete your development process even by testing an email without switching to a live server. So it's pretty much it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can spend a couple of minutes to check the support me page on my website where you can find all different ways and methods to support me, support my channel and help me to do better videos and better tutorials for you. Thank you again guys and until the next lesson, as usual, happy coding!